Hi good people, it's Clint. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it is the first time you're watching. For any fitters out there that might be following the channel, you can feel my pain on this job. It is literally the size of the area that's the problem. Now, for those who don't understand, let me help you out. Let me take you through it. This room size on the length from wall to wall is 4.15 that's in meters the width was 3.20 320 that's in meters so if you don't know that rolls come in either a two a three or a four here in the uk well they do so that can sometimes create problems especially with a room this size because that would mean that i had 80 centimeters to play with on the side and it's no good trying to take the roll in and spin it out at that size 415 by 4 it made perfect sense to cut off the 80 centimeters and that is exactly what i did it made life easier for me but by no means does that mean that it was a walk in the park so on this job i had the cooker to attend with I'm not Corgi registered, so that wasn't being unplumbed. I had to pull it out, pop it on some vinyl to not leave marks in the vinyl underneath. You have to protect the flooring at all costs. Laying the vinyl out is probably one of the most important things when it comes to fitting it, because you need to make sure that you don't crease the vinyl. If you get any creases in there and there's any sort of weight behind that crease, that crease can last to the life of the vinyl. Yeah, sometimes you can use a heat source and remove it if you know what you're doing, but you've just got to be really careful when spinning a vinyl out. The other thing is obviously like this scenario, you've got cabinets in the place, you've got a cooker, you've got so many drop backs that it's impossible to have the vinyl lay flat because you've got to cut off all your flak before you lay anything down. So it's all measuring. You've got to make sure that the vinyl is running true with the pattern. So for instance, on this job, I went off the patio doors because the patio doors was straight because they was on the exterior wall. Another little problem was the kickboards. They were glued and screwed and the painter and decorator had just been in and gave those a lovely fresh lick of paint. And the customer did not want those kickboards removing. Sure, it does help to have a fitting buddy, guys, and I do most of the time. But there is those times when actually two people in a small area like this can be a problem. And, you know, it's easier to work by yourself. So that's why I chose to do this job by myself. It's one of those where you just have to compose yourself, think straight, take your time, and the rest will fall into place with the experience. The floor was good and straight and no ply boarding was necessary. We could go straight to this prefab floor. It was good enough to go to. And this is an old video from the archives that I've re-uploaded recently to YouTube. It's from the COVID days of 2019 slash 2020. So that is the reason that I've got a mask on. Oof, those times, those days, I had to wear that mask constantly at the beginning and i'm so thankful that we're out of those days aren't we all guys anyway let's crack on with the video i hope you enjoy it get yourself a brew and a biscuit if you haven't subscribed yet guys please go ahead and do so if you like the content give us a thumbs up until the next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next